Well, let me just update you on the breaking news. You can see at the bottom of your screen there the announcement from Downing Street tonight that the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has been told to self-isolate after coming into contact with someone who tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, we're told that he will carry on working from Downing Street, uh, including on leading the government's response to the coronavirus pandemic. That's what uh, his spokesman has said. Uh, they go on to say that he's well and doesn't have any symptoms of COVID-19. Uh, but let's get more from our political correspondent, Nick Martin, who's in Westminster for us now. Uh, so, Nick, Boris Johnson having to self-isolate. Yes, it, it's hugely significant. Clearly, he is the prime minister and for a period of time now, he will be unable to uh, leave the confines of wherever he chooses uh, to self-isolate. Uh, Downing Street released a statement just a few minutes ago saying that the prime minister has today been notified by NHS Track and Trace that he is required to self-isolate as a contact of someone who has tested positive for COVID-19. The Prime Minister, uh, the statement says, will follow the rules and is self-isolating. He will carry on working from Downing Street, including on leading the government's response to the coronavirus pandemic. The Prime Minister is well and doesn't have any symptoms of COVID-19. Now, we understand that the Prime Minister met with a small group of MPs, including on Thursday morning, actually, including Lee Anderson, who is the MP for Ashfield. Uh, Mr Anderson has subsequently developed symptoms of COVID-19, has now tested positive. Uh, and so uh, it's likely that we can draw a conclusion from that. But this is the really the last thing that the Prime Minister would want now. This next week coming is a huge week. Um, we're, re we're restarting the negotiations to try and strike a trade deal with the EU. It was all about putting the events of last week and Downing Street behind the government. Last week, of course, which saw the departure of Boris Johnson's most senior aide, Dominic Cummings, uh, the departure of his director of communications, Lee Kane, and all sorts of reports about infighting within government. Well, next week was all going to be about looking ahead to Brexit, looking ahead to a whole raft of other announcements, including how the government was going to continue fighting the coronavirus pandemic. But tonight, uh, that news that the Prime Minister is now required uh, to self-isolate, having come in contact with someone who subsequently tested positive for the disease uh, and is now self-isolating themselves. Of course, we have to remember that Boris Johnson has contracted COVID-19. Of course, at the very beginning of that pandemic, he contracted it. He was self-isolating in Downing Street. He then developed breathing difficulties, which required him to go to the hospital. He then ended up uh, being treated for, or, for more than a week. And there was real worries about his health. And he came out of that praising the NHS, praising staff. And so it's very unlikely, you know, that he would contract that again, but he is now required to self-isolate. It is a significant development for the Prime Minister. He will be out of the mix in a very important week, although Downing Street stressing that even though he is self-isolating, he will be still able to work, um, uh, still able to, to carry on his role. But tonight, uh, the Prime Minister notified by NHS Test and Trace that he is required to self-isolate because he had been in contact with someone who has subsequently tested positive for COVID-19.